Today we will be exploring adjacent angles, supplementary angles, opposite angles, and complementary angles. Here's an example of two adjacent angles. Two angles are considered adjacent when they have a common side and a common vertex, like so. This is another example of adjacent angles, since, as we can see, they share a common side and a common vertex. Now, the following are considered non-adjacent angles. So for this first example, although these angles share a common side, they do not share a common vertex. And for this example, we see that they share a common vertex, but not a common side. Lastly, this one does not share either a common side or a common vertex. Great, so let's move on to supplementary angles. Two angles are considered supplementary angles if they add up to 180 degrees. In this example, we have a 37 degree angle and a 143 degree angle. And if we add them together, we get 180 degrees. So, these are in fact supplementary angles. But wait a minute, we can categorize this example one more time from what we just learned. We just learned that if two angles share a common side and a common vertex, then they're considered adjacent. And in this example, we have just that. So we can actually call these angles adjacent supplementary angles. Here's another example of a supplementary angle. If we add 99 degrees and 81 degrees, then we get 180 degrees, confirming that these are supplementary angles. But again, we can actually consider these non-adjacent supplementary angles since they do not share a common side nor a common vertex. Good. Now the idea of opposite angles could be shown by drawing two lines that intersect each other. Opposite angles are always equal to each other. So in this example, the opposite to angle A is angle C, and we know that they are equal to each other. And the opposite to angle B is angle D, which are also equal. Lastly, we've got complementary angles. These are kind of like supplementary angles, only that instead of requiring two angles that add up to 180 degrees, complementary angles require two angles to add up to 90 degrees. So in this example, we have 64 degrees and 26 degrees, which means they add up to 90 degrees, making them complementary angles. And again, these angles could be further classified as adjacent complementary angles, while these would be non-adjacent complementary angles. Great, so these concepts are fairly easy to learn. You just have to commit them to memory and apply them whenever you need to. Alright guys, so that's the end of this lesson, and we hope you have a good one.